understand he's got to overcome. Yeah, well, this is a tough one to swivel. Like, you know, it's uh, you know, a European champion. He's up against here. The Scottish football team on his back. Nice shot there. Took there from Gamal Yafai. All the Yafai boys can hit pretty yeah. really hard. They all can. Cal, Cal was a, a vicious body puncher. Yeah, really under. was. There is a younger brother. Younger brother Galal is the best of the three of them. Yeah. He's done a bit of World Series boxing, but he's still an amateur. But uh, apparently, sparring sessions when either of those two are yeah, breaking right. together, they're brutal. Apparently, yeah. they have yeah. to stop them. But yet, they're all close as brothers as well. Yeah. Except when they're sparring. So I'd like to believe my physiotherapist has worked with uh, with Cal. Normally and he are. hasn't. He's been boxing six rounders instead, and then nothing comes along, so he says, well, I'll take another European fight then. Here he's got another one here. Nice body work oh, from yeah. Yafai. Yeah, he's picked a nice left hook there, but Rigoldi is starting to come through with some nice sharp left hands of his yeah. own out of that southpaw stance. It's a nice sharp cross there from Rigoldi. It's a long night, though, Nick. You know, he's um, this is started quite quickly. I know they are. This is nice from Rigoldi again. Oh, good and a lovely, there from lovely final word there from Gamal Yafai. Well, for me, Nick, the weighted punch is definitely with Yafai. He looks like the heavier hitter by quite some weight. But does he have the accuracy? And the variety to use that to his advantage because those are the those are the two attributes that he's going to have to make sure are working for him. A little bit of patience as well, probably. 
Can't be wasting energy. Looking for the timing. There we go, dear. Being very watchful here. Yeah, nice body shot again. That left hook to the body. He keeps sinking those in there. You just wonder. It always referred to as money in the bank that you you, you withdraw later in the fight. Those yeah. body shots. It's a very good analogy. He's certainly banking some deposits here, you're fine, but Rigoldi we just took another one here. It's all action from Rigoldi, but as you say, the quality shots and the weight of shots are coming from the Englishman here. Well, isn't it good to see a title fight where two guys are just going at it flat out as early as this? There's no feeling out process going on here. Yeah, oh, Jeff, not yet. No, one, no one's bossing it. Yeah, no, definitely not. It looks not. like Rigoldi's going to take over, or it looks like Yafai's going to take over. We're not seeing any of that yet. Very much ebb and flow. That's a good left hook there. Rigoldi done well to take that. Uh, uh, he's got, he's, a, he's sure, got a chin. Yeah, he sure and has. He's coming back with stuff as well, decent shots as well, but. The signature shot of this fight for me so far has been the Yafai left hook, and that was a peach. And look how well he's taken it there, Rigoldi. Second out. See? Yeah. We see a very different Gamal Yafai from the early career Gamal, who was just just too much. He was too much of a physical bully as he was being introduced. But then he boxed uh, Gavin McDonald, the uh, twin brother of Jamie, yeah. the former world champion, and that was for the international oh. super bantamweight title, and he lost that, and lost it pretty compre comprehensively as well, and he said, yeah. I had to learn some lessons. Oh yeah, well, said, listen, that's a that, world-class competitor he's lost again against there, and that, but, what a great learning experience as well. But it was his attitude that I liked, he just said, no, I was second best, I was beat by the better man, and I've got to learn from that, Yeah. and, and he's a much more mature, and a much more rounded, and a much more composed fighter now than he was. Brilliant attitude, brilliant. Exactly what you want to be hearing from a young fighter. I've always said this about boxing, Alex, and it's, it's, not, a, it's not an original line. I, I, you define fighters by what they learn from a defeat. Oh, definitely. Oh, you certainly If they just do. repeat what they've done before, oh, yeah. then, yeah, they're never yeah. going to go anywhere. No, they definitely are not. You know, what do you learn from it? What do you take from it? And how do you apply what you've learned to the rest of your career? Nice. Oh, lovely oh, body shot. Oh, sharp there. Yeah, they're going oh, to count. He's felt that. He's yeah, felt he sure it, you has, know. They're going to count. What a lovely lead right hand as well. And if they don't um, if they don't show in a big way now, they're certainly going to show down the stretch because that is like money in the bank that you can take out later. It really is. He's picking those body shots really well. He only really has to drop a couple of those in around Nick, and they're going to pay massive dividends down the stretch. Well, I think they that will one. certainly slow the Goldie down. Yeah, I think that one slowed him down. I thought you saw a reaction. But Look at the elbows, Nick. Look at Rigoldi's yeah. elbows. Yeah. He has tucked them straight in now. He does not want to be feeling any more of those. Look how cautious he is. He's okay in those situations. He understands that if I can't get his shots off from there, but out there, he is being extremely cautious. Look at those elbows. He absolutely bamboozled him that it was the backhand lead that stunned him, and before he'd had a time to time to recover, that lovely left hook and ripping in. Yeah, a real touch of genuine class there from Gamal Yafai. That's nice from Rigoldi though. Oh, that was clean. Good response this from the champion. No, it is. Yeah, he's okay in this at this range. It's when he's on the outside. And he starts to negate an attack. Yafai is whipping those body shots right under. And the elbows are... Oh, no, they're still pretty tight. He's yeah, still he's got them uh, tucked in there. Well, I think he's responded really well. I thought he was shaken by that body shot. And uh, yeah. he's finishing the round very well. Yeah, not overly, overly keen to rush in, no. No. So one of those, there's a skating right hand. There's a right hand that they're a bit deliberate, but... Yeah, responded well, you're right. He didn't let Gamal Yafai go on and boss that round. He never. That's what impressed me. I'm not sure he dominated it, but he got on the front foot. He was busy, he was active. He got some scoring success as well. Breaking backhand lead from Gamal Yafai. But that 
is the combination of the night so far. Again, that backhand lead. And the switch upstairs immediate. Well, I just about made out Max McCracken's words under all those masks. He said, you're doing great. Nice sharp backhand again from Gamalia Fight. Well, it's giving Rigoldi lots to think about here, isn't it? Because not only has he got to worry about those hooks to the bodies, but he's got to be paying attention to these backhand leads that are ripping through. Well, yeah, he does. You know, he has to be, um, he has to be cautious on all those sort of fronts because, you know, as this goes on, in my opinion, the, the fighter who lands the more effective blows early here could be the one that, that holds out a little bit better towards the end. Um, you know, you fight, a big danger that you fight has is loading up too early and burning up too much steam in the early rounds here. You know, with the, with the style that he's adopting to choose, you know, heavy kind of oh, yeah, that's nice. heavy body shots, the possibility of running out of gas is high. He's got to be a little bit more cautious, pick his shots a little bit smarter. He doesn't want to be taken too much as well, Nick, you know. Good body work from your five, but uh, Rigoldi is certainly looking to up the tempo here. And he's yep. bringing the backhand lead in himself here. Got a couple of really good left hands in against Yafai. And he's firmly on the front foot. And uh, Yafai's got to watch this yeah. because he's allowing Rigoldi to dictate the tempo here. And to just keep chipping away. You know, every one of uh, Yafai's shots is a big shot. It's a heavy shot. There's no in between. You know, he's not popping out a couple of light shots here and there. Every shot that Yafai throws, he basically wants to knock Rigoldi out. As you can see, look at these shots, Nick. He's loading up on everyone. That is very taxing in a 12-round fight. You, in my opinion, cannot maintain that. And when oh. you've got, yeah, that's great, but, you know, can he maintain this? If Goldie's punch resistance, hold, resistance holds up, oh, that's a sore one. Oh. And another. If it holds up, Nick, you know, your fight might be running out of gas towards the end, in yeah. my opinion. At the moment, though, he is digging in, and he's trying to drain the tank of Rigoldi, and Rigoldi's staying with him, and this is an absolutely draining round for both of them. Rigoldi is not backing up one little bit. But at least he's stopped pushing your five back now. But it's become just a, a battle for the centre of the ring here in this yeah. fourth round. And neither man is giving ground. Yeah. Nice again from Yafai. There we go. He just draws a breath. Yafai does well just to step out of range. Got to judge the distance better and gets chipped again there, Rigoldi. Well, what a round this is. I thought your fight started well, finished well, and in the middle, Rick Goldie had plenty of success. That's again, you know, the, you're seeing that here. It's, um, your fight continues to load up and look for bombs all the time. He's going to run out of gas, and you get the feeling that Rigoldi, who's a little bit steadier, a little bit more selective with how he goes about his, you know, his punch picking, could just, you know, run him out of the ring at the end. What you're saying, Alex, is Gamal Yafai's strategy here seems to be all or nothing. He's either going to break him up and get him out of there, or he's going to be in serious trouble yeah. in the latter stages of the fight if he can't get him out of there. Yeah, look at these shots, Nick. Every shot that Yafai's throwing up to now has been loaded with power, and I really don't believe that you can maintain that. Second down, please. Especially against a fellow like Rigoldi. Picks lighter shots. Hey, kind of keeps a similar tempo. Been a really good fight through the first four rounds. And those elbows in as well, nice and tight. Yeah. Luca Rigoldi, the Italian defending champion here. Showing that he's uh, knows how to take a shot because he's taking some good shots upstairs as well. Four really good rounds, four close rounds. 
Oh, you hear Max McCracken there, just echoing yeah, what you were saying. Don't load up, yeah. Watch that car is gone. Yep, don't load up, which is exactly what he's doing and what he's done for four rounds. Quite sure that McCracken has been listening to our commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you go, that's a little bit better. Yeah. I tell you, they've both just taken their foot off the pedal yeah, a little yeah. bit here, slowed it all down, well, both of them. You'd like to think that um, they've spot that, spotted that in the corner, Nick, and at the end of the fourth there, and just said to you, Fi, OK, we need to slow this down a little bit, or we need to take a little bit of weight off these shots, start popping out some accurate, nice, clean scoring punches, take your opportunities, straight right hand down the middle, counter his jab, stop him on the way in with the jab, you know, pick some nice neat shots, build a little bit of momentum, and then maybe one of those heavy ones will just land in the right spot, so smart tactical changes from the Yafai corner, and certainly ones that he had to make, because he couldn't have maintained this for... Uh, for 12 yeah, rounds for me, no, yeah. no, certainly not. Yeah, he also, yeah, he you, missed with the yeah, counter there, but he, he was open to it, your fight. Well, well your fight's approach as well, you, you, you also face the danger of um, Rigoldi becoming or adapted to taking those heavy shots. You know, you actually, you get used to them. You know, you can get used to them. You actually break a barrier where you, you start taking them to the body. They don't bother you as much. The headshots don't bother you as much. You know, you, um, and then you get a guy who starts to walk through you and you're tired, you're in trouble. Uh, who's got the big finish? Sorry, the winner of this last 30 seconds might win this round. There's been very little in it again. Good, nice combination from again yeah. from Gamal Yafai. See, less weight on the shots, more shots together, more points scored, less energy used. Missed there. Yeah. But, um, Rigold, he didn't do anything himself. I tell you, this is a tough fight to score because they're both having success every round. Uh, Gamalia fight looking to join a uh, long line of um, British boxers to have held this belt as we just uh, look at some of the, the key moments of this last round. Made him miss well there, and yeah, that's again, what you yeah. want to do. Well, yeah, you certainly do. And, and, you know, get some good scoring shots off. You know, it's only the fifth round. You know, you can't be loading up like that. You know, I know I've said it over and over again, but it's really, really important. You know, if he wants to leave here tonight with the title, he's got to change tactics a little bit now. Uh, Luca Rigoldi in the... Uh Predominantly black trunks is the defending champion, but as I say, Kamali Fire looking to join a list that includes the likes of Carl Frampton, who I've already mentioned, but Gavin McDonald, Kit Galahad, Brendel Munro, all have won this belt down the years. There's been a few others as well. Can Kamali Fai fly that flag? Get a, a rare win in Italy. Nice again from your fight. Oh, got clipped on the way. Yeah, clipped on the way in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's very durable. Very, very durable, Rigoldi, and he's answering every time. Yeah, fight does attack, and I tell you what, there might have been a hiatus in the fifth round, but it's uh, back to full-scale yeah. hostilities here in round six. <laughs> all out, right. all Ooh, a good Oh, that's a big shot. one. Oh, he felt oh, it. Yeah, he, he backed did. up. Now, can your fight follow up on that? Yeah, he's, well, he's, got... getting, he's just took three left crosses on the way in there, Nick, and he never had an answer for any of them. He's, uh, his head's not moving at all. He's put so much effort into those big meaty hooks. And look at those little chipping shots there from Rigoldi. 
Italy, the Italian's powers of recovery are pretty impressive. They really are. Yeah, he's tough. Look yes. at the condition he's in as well. He's yeah. great. Two or three times that you think, oh, he's been stung here, and yeah, yeah he's taken 10 or 15 seconds, and then he regroups, refuels, yeah. I guess Pat's work, still yeah. got a nice right hand in there. And he's not loading up, Nick. No. The Italian's not loading up, so he's not going to run out of energy like the fires. A little bit busy with the jab as well, isn't he? He don't want to let a southpaw keep po poking you with his jab all night as well, you know, it's... Uh, it's something that really, if a southpaw's getting his jab on you all the time like that, you know, it's so difficult to try and get yourself back into a rhythm. It's what they do. You fire in this round for the first time, looking like a slightly a little bit lost, isn't he? A little bit like, okay. Apart from that one body shot, even you know, he puts his punches together like that. A little bit more effective. Yeah, and McCracken Connor just saying to you, fight to get him to touch first just to get him to draw a lead back so he can counter that. The counter basically, there's a good shot from you, fight. But he took a left hand as well. Yeah, he did, to yeah. Land it. He's been outworked. Overall, here isn't he in that round? Well, we're at the midway point. This yeah. is a really good fight. This is exciting. Very impressed with the, the champion's powers of resilience because Kamalia fires really, as you say, loaded up and landed What's plenty, it? and he keeps soaking it up, doesn't he? There's body shots that have went in here that would drop a lot of Superman weights, a lot, and he has sucked them up. It's like that good left cross neck that you mentioned earlier when he just stepped through with it, you know, and he left himself in a good position not to be countered. Just a little bit busy up towards the end of the round there, letting the hands go a little bit more. Well, okay. who can take control of the second half of this fight then? Luca Rigoldi defending his European Super Bantam weight title and a couple of uh, world rankings as well. He's uh, number 12 with the WBC and uh, 14 with the IBF. Well, that's an extra carrot there for Gamalia Fight, who is not ranked with any of the uh, sanctioning bodies in their top 15. But, uh, that was a good round for Luca Rigoldi, that sixth round. Nice right hand to finish the exchange there from Gamalia Fai. When Rigoldi is on the front foot, he really does look comfortable. That's where he wants to be, but he can't stay there because Yafai just knocks him back out of it. Then he has to regroup and get on the front foot again. It's, uh, it's tough. It really is just a battle of wills, isn't it, as much as anything? It's two guys just trying to impose their game plan on each other. Yeah, it's been a quiet yeah. round, this, a lot yeah, quieter. Yeah, but they're talking to him about finding his range. You know, it's round seven, you know, he's, uh, his range should be well and truly found. It's more readapting to the situation that he's now in. Yeah. That's the big problem that you five faces right now. And he has to try and come up with that quick, Nick. Because, you know, I don't know about you, I'm, I mean, <laughs> knowing you so well, I'm, I would assume that you also think that Rigoldi will be the more comfortable boxer from here on in, based on what we're, what we're seeing. 
Oh, he didn't look too comfortable there, did he? No. A little complaint, no. and that's like nice you from say, your fight. He seems to have these brilliant powers of recovery where he just, you know, he just, he's okay a few seconds yeah. later. And there he goes again. Yeah, look. gets back into his little rhythm. Very impressed with his bout of recovery. Yeah. Luca Rigoldi, because as you say, Gamal Yafai is very heavy-handed. Yeah, very, very, yeah. And he's all oh, into beauty. Oh, see that? See, one beauty huge Beauty, and Rigoldi like that. has just yeah. swallowed it up, said, is that it? Unbelievable. I mean, there's shots in here that would have, in my opinion, flattened some super bantamweights. No, I can think of. Yeah, you're not kidding. It no. stood him up momentarily. Listen, and that's all it did. And it probably Might have just done enough to win him the round, though, Gamal yeah, Yafai, that yeah, finish. Yeah, possibly. And it shook him terribly. I mean, they're shaking him there in the corner. You can almost bet all your money when he gets back up on his feet to go out here for the next round. He's probably going to be OK. Well, certainly the timing of yeah. that big shot was favourable for Luca Rigoldi. He just needed a few seconds to, to get through to the cover, to yeah. the bell. It was going very well for him up till then. Yeah, I thought he was having a good round, but yeah. uh, Gamal Yafar might have just taken it off in there with yeah. that finish. Well, they were talking to Gamal there, you know, about um, finding his range, you know, finding his distance. And, you know, I think he's probably went a bit too far now. I think he just has to go with what's happening, Nick. And, um, I don't think, you know, that anything should change. I think he should probably just keep hoping that big shot yeah, lands. Yeah. Let's see how he's recovered here. Well, they come straight out on the front yeah, foot. I have a goal, funny feeling they? that he would do. Yeah. Um, how many of these massive shots can he take? So there's certainly a lot more power. That's yeah. nice. Lovely combination that upstairs. Is. Now, Yafai is starting to make some serious inroads. Yeah, and he's starting to box a little bit now as well. Nice to see him allow Rigoldi to overreach and run him into some really nice, well-timed counters and think about landing them crisp and sharp, not heavy and dull. And then switching the point of attack again, back yeah. downstairs, then a nice right hook upstairs, good variety, good execution from Gamal Yafai here in round eight. You get the feeling if Yafai can put his punches together and change his mindset a little bit, that he's going to have a lot more success here. So, well, we'll see him pick punches now, Nick. I think he's shown terrific yeah. accuracy, well, really measuring his shots well. He's starting to use his, his brain now here in round eight. Yeah, the corner, urging him to be smart. Yeah, stay smart. Yeah. Stay smart. Nice. nice. Sharp, sharp, accurate. Sharp yeah. and accurate. Yeah. Quick. And uh, this is the first round uh -huh. of the fight where, for me, one boxer is dominating. Yeah. And at the moment, it's Gamal Yafai who's looking very comfortable. He's he nothing behind those punches. Nice That's head all movement as well. Rigoldi missed with them all, and there was yeah. nothing behind any of them. Well, there's been a real shift in the... And the bout here hasn't though. Yeah, let's, significantly. Let's see if this this can be maintained. And I think that all came off that huge left hook right at the end of the previous round. That's where the damage was done, you know. Possibly. But what's made Yafai not go looking for that? Because if that ha happened earlier, I'm quite sure we'd see Yafai out here now throwing bombs, trying to land something huge, but he's not. He's reverted to um, trying to pick his punches smart and lovely straight right oh, into the he's body there. lost this round, though. It's yeah. been... Uh, Easily love the that. clearest round between the two of them. Tactically, that was lovely. Threw his left forearm up to the gloves of uh, of the goal. Then he shot his straight right hand right through the middle. Very nice punch picking. Switch on. He's told in the corner. It's been switched on all the way through this round so far. Yeah, but nothing, but nothing behind these punches at all. No, none of them really landed either. And he keeps soaking up these body shots. Yeah. Oh. So much more weight behind these Kamalia five punches. Yeah, another straight one. The uh, defense is starting to come adrift here for the Italian. And uh, the referee now getting more and more on Kamalia Fai's case. That was a good round, though, for the challenger. It sure really was. That's the first round where you can see clear blue water between the two of them. Yeah. That's uh, Max McCracken happy. 
Yeah. Did really well there. The uppercut, the swinging left hook. That's a glancing blow. Yeah, that's beautiful. A little clipping left hook off the back end of that as well. The body work good. And that hook upstairs, really nice combinations from Kamalia Fight. Really nice. Really good to watch. Somebody's punch selection in that round was what you wanted to see, wasn't it? Yeah, looking a little bit more despondent in the corner now than he was before. Yeah. Second down, please. No, please. 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 Hey. Hey, people. People, Luca. Well, can Gamal Yafai build on that here in round nine, or will Luca Rigoldi come back and have a big round of his own? I think he needs one, the champion. There's just a the sense there that uh, the tide may have shifted in this one. Still plenty of rounds to go as well, and uh, you alluded to it earlier, the way Gamal Yafai is loaded up, would he feel it in the later rounds? No sign of it here so far. And he is allowing Rigoldi to lead off here now. Can yeah. he force him back here, Yafai? He doesn't yeah. want to allow Rigoldi, even though there's nothing behind these punches, well, seemingly. Then, the, the danger of Yafai throwing too much caution in the wind and loading up with too many heavy shots for seven rounds is still a, it's still a thing, Nick. Just because he boxed well and had a good round in round eight um, and, and a little bit more so in round seven doesn't mean that the effects he... Um, his choice of tactics earlier of them um, have gone away. You know, he's um, he still threw a lot of heavy shots, still loaded up, didn't really pick his punches, just really hoped to smash the goal, really. And against an established European champion, he's got to go about that a little bit smarter than that, sadly. But well, now your five manages to turn him. Heavy bully him. Uh, Rigoldi again showing those powers of resilience. Yeah. This is if, if Rigoldi's on the front foot, he's comfortable. Uh -huh. He looks a lot fresher. Really does. And then ref, then you fight here as well. Uh, here in the night. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a much better round for the yeah. champion. Yeah. Who's responding as he had to off the back of that last round. Yeah. Well, like I said, the danger, the dangers of the first six, seven rounds of not. Um, Quite left, Jafai. He never eased into this at all. So three punch combination yeah, that three punch combination. He's um, he's throwing that quite a lot. Rigoldi will start wising and up to that. Just tuck up, nice and tight. You'll know what's coming. Shots for your fire there. That's nice sharp. Yeah. What do you like more? Well, this is it. I mean, he's he's been very busy and very yeah. engaged, Rigoldi, in that round. He has. Didn't see an awful lot of power, didn't see an awful lot of quality, but he was working so hard. He was on the front foot through. Yeah, and that's where he's happy. Yeah. If he's on the front foot, yeah. he looks good. That's the thing, he's going to catch the eye of the judges because he's on the front foot, throwing shots. And if he can stay on the front foot, he'll win himself some rounds. Nice. There, the your right hand did get in from Kafai, but he took a two-punch combo first. Cross jab. Is that a good right hand from Kafai? Judges probably would have swayed towards a goldie in that round, though. I, I don't see how you could. Yeah. He was busier. Yeah. Way more active. Looking at do a little bit more. That was important for a goldie coming out of that bad of round eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah, a he's, bad he's round eight. He's steadied the ship again, you know. That, you have a round like that eighth round, you're going one of two ways, and he's yeah. regrouped brilliantly. Yeah. He really has. Oh, looking to set the uh, 
set the tempo here and you heard Max McCracken just say you control the pace yeah. because if you let this fella just settle into this chugging forward at his pace He's going to quite happily work there. Yeah. Gamal, Gamal Yafai making him miss there. Gamal Yafai has to sell his feet down a little bit as well. Yeah, then. got He's, tangled uh, the right hand. Can't be moving around so much. Double up with the left hook there from Yafai. And he's hitting with everything. And, uh, yeah. He soaked it all up, Rigoli. Very, very durable time. Yeah, Yafai's got to sell those feet down, Nick. He has to sell them down and start stepping around. He's um, wasting, again, wasting too much energy. He takes a good left hand on the counter there. He does get his body shots off. But at what price, again, you know, he's... Yeah. Um, yeah. At what price? I think looking back on this, Nick, this goes to the final bell, and um, I assume it probably will now. And it's and, a close fight. And it's close. Which it is. And the, and the UFI team do come away as losers. Oh. They are going to look at this, in my opinion, and say we need to settle down. We can't load up as much in the early rounds. You know, this is his 19th pro bout. There's plenty of time for UFI to come back after this. Readjust, reset. You know, make changes, plenty of time, big future ahead. Um, but that, in my opinion, is what they will and should take away from this. He has to adapt and learn. And it's not a bad learning experience, no. maybe much like the McDonald fight. It's not a bad learning experience he's, at all. He's performed better than the McDonald fight, a yeah, lot better. I'm not saying. I can remember he has, yeah. yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 Gav McDonald really looked just a level above him. Yeah. 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 Just too long and this tall. One, and yeah, this one's just been up for grabs all the way. Yeah. And I'm not sure, as, as much as I've admired Gavin McDonald and Gamal Yafai's work. Yeah. I'm not sure he's imposed himself enough on this to go and win in the other guy's backyard. That's the big question. Huh? Right hand to the body. They're calling for him to throw, but... It's a good left hook as well. Yeah, I'd say doesn't he take a shot wow. like a goal? That was flush. That was flush, Nick. Right on the point of the chin. Not as big as that big one at the end of the seventh. That was a huge shot. Yeah, huge uh, shot. I'm sure that set up the big eighth yeah. round that uh, McDon uh, yeah, I had yeah. Gavin McDonald on the brain now, uh, ever since you mentioned him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sorry, Sorry. about that. I, know. <laughs> I am bad for planting names in your head. I, I really am. But yeah, that was another pretty close round. One I would probably again probably go to the goal day. There's a lot of close rounds. Yeah, they this. are close. They no, really are. Call. We've got a couple of rounds to go now, though. I, I don't think much is going to change now, though. Well, it's his sixth European title fight. I think it's the hardest one of the lot. Although the, uh, the first time he won it against his... Uh, Compatriot Vittorio Farinello, there's absolutely nothing you can choose between those two. But, you know, again, in defences like the likes of Jeremy Parodi and Anthony Setul, they're decent European level operators. Shows the kind of uh, range that he's in, Rigoldi. And it is the step up for Yafai as we now go to the business end, round 11. Yafai, you feel, has got to finish this fight strongly. Get the Italian on the back foot. Nice body shot coming in there from Rigoldi. Took one, but he did land a lovely left hand himself. And this is where what you were saying earlier comes back into play. Has Yafai got a full tank here in round 11? Or is the needle hovering above the red? Oh, that's good nice. Left yeah. Sharp Chris Kenner, not a heavy shot. We've seen Rigoldi eat the heavy shots. One like that. Just a sharp crisp shot. It's not going to deter him much. Well, he's not the most skilled cat out there, Rigoldi. But what he does have, he makes it work for him. Oh, he's, a, he's a worthy champion, there's no yeah, doubt about that. He's resilient. Yeah. He's composed. He's very, very well conditioned. 
doesn't nice. exactly use his southpaw no, attributes no, to his doesn't. advantage. But um, he certainly possesses something, Nick, that's for sure. Pick some nice little counters in this 11th round, Kamalia fight. Yeah. There you go. Last in again. Nice shot. Straight right hand through the middle there. Good left hook counter. Boxing quite well here, you fight. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Choosing to pick his shots and be a little bit smarter. Not seeing much in the way I left jab the neck, have we? No. Just something that you fight can add yeah, to his just... game as well. Even against the South Ball. Yeah, we have not seen much of the jab at all. Could that have played a different part? Would the would the fight have looked a little bit different had uh, if I used his jab a lot? A little bit more, maybe, maybe so. Well, he's going to be able to take a, a lot away for this Nick, isn't yeah. he? And his team so much, well, actually. He's taking this round for me. Yeah, but what a brilliant learning fight for him at this yeah. stage of his career. Yeah, well. really is. Of course, I'm quite sure he would love to pick up the European title, but even if he doesn't, he can take a lot away from this. Good punch picking there from your fire yeah, game. He's, he's, he's really shown us some yeah. good eye catching stuff here. And he's, 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 running, he's running this 11th round. He's been the better boxer all the way through. Yeah, he's, he's made, he's made Rigoldi look very, very ordinary in this 11th round yeah, here. He sure has. And he's missed. He's struggled with his range, the yeah. champion, and Yafai's picked him off yeah. very and, effectively. And he's still never threw a jab. <laughs> I think he threw one. All right, then. You were looking down at your notes when he threw it. There you go. But now, imagine the jab was working as well. Well, round to go, Nick. Well, we see something different in this round. Well, it seems to me it hasn't changed much, has it? Since really. that seventh round. Not really go, oh, at I all. No. I think the breakthrough had just got made, and um, no. no. He pressed the reset button yeah. very, very well. Not got a mark on his face either. Come out. Don't think there's anything wrong with a gold his heart or his toughness. Oh, no. Oh, not one little bit. Good is. round this for Gamalia Fire. Yeah, he boxed well. The lovely counter left hand there that you could class as a jab. Half jab, half hook. Uh, just look at the work from Rigoldi, you know, struggling with the range there. I don't think it was a good round for him at all. He needs a big finish. Yeah. It's been a really good fight, this. Yeah, it really has. Uh, with a big belt on the line, you want to see a bit of a show, and these two have really put on a nice performance. But who's going to get the decision? And it could come down to this last round. Good walks in there from your fight. Yeah. Picked that well. He's paced himself very well. You know, you were concerned about whether the energy levels would drop. There's no yeah. evidence of it here at all in this last round. It's uh, You really do feel that Rigoldi's going to get a big finish here, and he's not finding it. Just poking out these jabs, but not much coming behind it. Still missing, still yeah. struggling with the range, and Yafai still looking strong. Oh, a beauty of an uppercut there. Lovely shot. He just takes that effortlessly, though, Rigoldi. Yeah, unbelievable, really. Could we see a last round knockout? <laughs> Very doubtful. I don't think so. Very doubtful. Not with what this fella's soaked up. It would take something that he didn't see. And it would have to land pretty spot on, pretty flush for that to happen. I don't know if your has got one big shot in the tank. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's picked, off. It's picked him off nicely. I mean, this has been so smart from Gavalia Fight these last two rounds. Yeah. Uh, Rigoldi had a little bit of success there, but he's, he's, he's really fighting to go and tough here. Another nice one. And oh, another one comes in. Still, he soaks it all up. Yeah, pushes him off there. Okay, yeah, ref. Yeah, we'll, get that. we'll let the ref have that one. Yeah, definitely. Down inside. Good shot. The last let minute's ten last seconds fight. here. Good old day. Deciding to just hold the feet. Doesn't want to edge in anymore. I think he's tired of running onto those shots, Nick. Running onto those counter yeah, punches. Yeah, he's, um, 
He's not finished the fight well at all, Luke Rigoldi. Not even counter punches, just sharp shooting from the thigh. Sharp, straight right hands, little cheeky right uppercuts, little left hook counters on the way in. There's that cheeky shot, straight right as well. If I go in confidence, Nick, you can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel now. He's tired, Nick. Please believe me, he's well, tired. He's only got 30 seconds to get through. He can uh, draw some breath. And how many times has he missed in the closing stage of this fight, Luca Rigoldi? And he's missing badly there as well. Yeah. I think he's been really smart. He's conserved his energy. He's picked some nice shots. I think he realised he wasn't going to be able to knock this fella out. So he's just... Yeah, he, him off. he didn't realise until round eight, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but but after that, that point, it was like, no, yeah, I, I, can't, yeah. I can't get him out of there. By that point, he'd burn up a lot of gas. He looks knackered. Yeah, that'll do it. Both well, guys look confident well, that of the yeah, win there. I, yeah. I, know, I know who my winner is. And really, those last two rounds absolutely cemented it for Gamalia Five for me. Rigoldi won some early rounds, but the, the quality and the consistency, the accuracy, the fact that there was so much weight behind the punches, yeah. more variety, I don't see how you couldn't give this to Gamalia Fai. Yeah. But every, and this applies around the world, this is not pointing at Italy, every time you're the away fighter in a fight yeah. like this, you dread Oh, what yeah. might be coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've seen it in the UK. Marco Giuliani will join me in the ring with the European belt. Before we go to our judges score totals, please show your appreciation at ringside for both our boxers in the ring. <laughs> Judge Giovanni Boggi, 119-109. Both judges, Guido Cavalleri, John Latham, 116, 112. All for the winner. And the new. Yeah, he's got it. One of the scorecards was really wide. The other two, I'm assuming, were 116, 112, which is how I had it. Yeah. No question that he deserved it. That was a mature, poised, and confident performance from Gabal.